Hey guys, welcome to my workbench in Automotors Technica. This is a video on how the Android audio system is safe enough to be fitted into your vehicle. So here is the setup where I'm going to emulate a lab car system, uh, similar to a vehicle platform. So here there are uh, three uh, power wires, one yellow, which is having permanent 12 volts in the car the red wire which is nothing but goes to the ignition that means when you put on the key the 12 volt supply comes here and if the system is already booted this will come into the live mode that is from the standby it will come up and the screen will light up and the common the famous ground terminal is the black that is the negative terminal uh, of the battery so here in this case I have used an adapter with the black goes to the negative and red uh, 12 volts positive power supply so when i switch on for the first time it's nothing but equivalent to connecting to the battery for the first time and this is the start of the day so once it boots completely and comes to the home screen this will remain forever until you do a reboot through the settings or using a pin if it hangs there is a reset uh, button here that uh, you can use in the form of in the emergency where if it hangs sometimes so the default card launcher uh, I'm using is uh, uh, which is the default given by uh, the supplier this is the default card launcher that comes with the system and I have put a couple of them which I'm going to show you uh, as the video progresses. So this is the first boot and uh, if you remove the ignition or remove the key from your ignition, it goes into standby mode but it will not be total power off. It goes into sleep state. So let's continue the experiment. So I have powered this Android audio system uh, using an adapter from this power supply and this gives me 12 volts which is connected to the black color wire which is nothing but the negative terminal for 12 volts and the yellow wire which is a constant 12 volt supply and there is another uh, red color wire which is coming out from the android system which goes to the ignition key so that means when you put on the ignition key, the supply voltage at this 12 volt uh, at uh, potential of 12 volts will be given and it contacts to the 12 volt junction once you switch on the ignition key. So what happens is in the standby mode, uh, when you push on to the key, the first click, the switch on position is nothing but the accessories mode where all your accessories like uh, the under audio system uh, other uh, vehicle related stuff will light up and you can use the uh, sometimes power windows and it depends on the vehicle if it they allow you to switch on the power windows because there are two types of uh, accessories mode one is the first uh, simple on and the second one is during the pre-initial uh, ignition mode where if the push button is present you need to press the clutch and then push the button so in ignition key uh, based systems you have one switch on accessories where this connection happens uh, from 12 volts to this red wire and the android system the screen lights up so what happens here is i'm going to show you how safe is the android system so in standby mode uh, what did i do is uh, i have connected this 12 volts uh, positive supply which is coming from uh, this adapter the positive terminal is connected to the positive of the amp, amp meter which is nothing but the multimeter and the negative terminal which goes to the android system that means the amp meter is in series which measures the current so this current uh, is 63 uh, this 0.63 amperes that means 630 milliamps so what happens here is uh, if i switch off 
this Android system to it is still 60.63 why because uh, the LED is on and it shows the date and time of the day so if I switch on the system so 10 uh, 10 milliamps are increased so now what happens here is uh, when you remove the key so this is nothing but removal of the key that means the Android gets switched off and if you see still there is 390 milliamps of the current flowing through the system uh, this is because there is a capacitor inside the Android system which gradually discharges, and after some time that will reduce to a certain level and it will be constant so what I'm going to show you is how safe is your Android audio system uh, such that it doesn't drain your battery so it is now 300 milliamps reached that means the capacitor had discharged almost half yeah that's it so what happens here is if you see it is 0 0.02 it is approximately 20 milliamps sometimes it reduces to 1 as well now it is uh, 0 0.01 that means uh, into 1000 so that is 10 milliamps so this is the state where you push out the key from the vehicle remove it when you park it for a long time it shows that uh, it consumes 10 milliamps of current because this android system has got a quad core processor a mediatek processor and it requires a power supply because it doesn't go into total uh, deep sleep state or uh, power off state so this is nothing but a standby mode where it consumes very less amount of current of uh, 0 0.01 amps that is 10 milliamps which is negligible for a bigger uh, vehicular battery now i'm going to show you once i push the ignition key So that means when I switch on into accessories mode, the Android starts immediately. And if you see, a 740 milliamps of current flows through the system. So 12 into uh, 740 is approximately uh, 10 to 11 watts. And if you connect it to the speakers, uh, it will go up to maximum from uh, 1 ampere to 2 amperes so the actual power consumption is uh, 24 watts and if you crank up the volume there are CMOS uh, amplifier ICs inside so that can drive the speakers and the current will be drawn more so uh, the wattage of this uh, a system is like 50 into 4 which is a peak mode approximately it comes to be uh, 12 watts rms so this is what i wanted to tell you how safe is your android system when you fit it to your vehicular platform so this is just a demonstration where uh, the android powers power supply comes with three wires one black color is negative which are directly connected to the uh, negative of the adapter that is minus and the red color which is coming out from the adapter which is nothing but the 12 volts potential it is going to the positive of the ammeter so this is the positive of the ammeter red color wire and through series of this multimeter which is an ammeter mode the black wire which is coming out I have connected to the yellow which is nothing but permanent 12 volt supply given to the android system and there is another red color wire which is coming out from the android system which goes to the ignition of the vehicle so ignition means when you switch on into the accessories mode the 12 volts supplied to this ignition wire that is uh, when you switch on the key to accessories mode a 12 volts will appear onto this wire 
and it gets powered on. So if I do some operations, you will see that the current consumption increases. So it was from 64 to it raised up to uh, 0.70. So that means uh, if I say uh, YouTube, that rises because the processor is working at a higher clock rate. Uh, to show you, I have put a CPU Z, which will show you the system. The system on chip is it is four core and it is ARM Cortex A7. It is uh, from actually a MediaTek. So this is Android version 8.1 Go, which is lightweight. The battery will be showing as 100% because it is on the power supply. There are no sensors. And if I show you the uh, memory, it is, uh, there are some ads. Yeah, it is uh, 2048 MB, that is 2 GB memory, RAM and 12.58 GB internal storage, which is approximately equal to uh, 16 GB because some of uh, uh, ROM is reserved for uh, the operating system, which is flashed onto the same ROM flash memory. So this is all guys and if I want to uh, show you some more uh, about the UIs, uh, some of the UIs I have put it are uh, the car launcher which is a paid version, it looks beautiful and there is one more car launcher which is called as Web Guru. The most uh, beautiful look car launcher what I see is that this is the default inbuilt which comes with the audio system. Uh, what I like the most is this the car launcher. Uh, if you pay you will get a pro version and there are a lot of themes in this. So this Android system when it runs the music or plays the music uh, the maximum power uh, delivered by this into the speakers is 12 RMS into 4 which is nothing but 50 into 4 PM a peak mode power output and in standby mode when there is no uh, music is playing or any video is playing on the system it consumes approximately uh, 0.67 amps so because of uh, it runs a processor and other uh, leds to this lcd display so the motive of the video is uh, to show you how safe the android system is and it is said that if you use android system you won't turn back to any other audio systems and that is true because what I feel is like if I uh, use the Android system and I already use it I'm using it since uh, uh, one and a half years so maps are handy you will have a GPS uh, signal at this point so if I click maps the maps will start and I have connected it to uh, the Wi-Fi so what happens here is it will search for a time, sync to the satellites, but I have not connected the satellite signal from the back. So it will not sync and come back to the location of uh, India. So once it gets the satellites, so it will come only when I give the uh, satellite signal that is GPS antenna is not connected now. Then uh, within few seconds, it locks to the satellite and uh, uh, that I will show you in other uh, video. So till then, uh, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel Automotors Technica, push the thumbs up button and stay blessed.